In this final video, we are going to look at how to edit the corridor properties and corridor parameters of an intersection created using the intersection wizard of Civil 3D. I am using the intersection edit corridor file from this location in my computer and you can also find that uh, folder in this uh, particular location in your uh, Civil 3D. So, here currently we have this intersection but uh, we don't have a corridor created in this intersection so I am going to create the corridor first here so to do that you will have to click this intersection marker in the drawing so it will let you do the intersection uh, contextual ribbon tab so there you can go to recreate corridor regions so I will click that one so it will let me create the corridor here so you can create a new corridor because you don't have a corridor existing here in this drawing so our target surface to daylight is existing round and you can select the uh, assembly set in this location uh, so we'll metric assembly set so if you have a separate assembly set you can use them also so i will just move it to the right side so you have now created the uh, set the assembly set so these assemblies are will be used to create this intersection so i will click recreate here so my intersection will be recreated so i will be getting some information warnings information notices about my macro path so that is not a problem to uh, deal with so i will close them and here my corridor is now created uh, for the intersection wizard so you have to check both of these locations for this corridor and uh, intersection whether both of these locations are updated if either of these locations are not updated it will give you a warning sign here so uh, if you need to edit this corridor let us see uh, we will uh, extend this corridor uh, region somewhere up to here now i have extended this corridor region so it will automatically update this corridor region according to the changes i have made let us say i want to change the parameters of this uh, extended corridor region to do that i will select this uh, corridor region from this uh, contextual ribbon tab i will go to modify region and go to region properties then i will select this region where i extended to modify the properties so there i will go to frequency tab frequency row here so i can set the frequency here so if you need uh, you can see the uh, other sections if you need you can change the assembly as well so i am only going to change the frequency here so for the frequency i will type 10 meter for uh, along tangents and 5 meter along curves and 5 meter along uh, spirals and 5 meter as well for uh, along vertical curves and i will press uh, ok and click ok again you will see my corridor will be getting updated according to the parameters i have set so if you uh, want to uh, undo these changes or recreate the uh, intersection corridor to the earlier stage or the original stage you can easily do it by clicking on the intersection wizard and recreate corridor region and this time you can add it to the existing corridor and just click recreate so your uh, intersection will be uh, come to the initial stages without the changes you have made so if you want to change any of these uh, assembly parameters uh, you have the assemblies here otherwise you can access them from here you have the assemblies here and you can go here and go to uh, create, create for low regions you can assign uh, your own assemblies for these sections and uh, you can create the corridor and uh, 
uh, here also you can uh, set your parameters to the uh, intersection set your own assemblies and set your own targets these are all are the default targets and default profiles and default alignments but you can change them in the logical way so that these intersections are created using these normal uh, corridor uh, editing tools so that's about uh, creating intersections uh, in civil 3d using the uh, intersection wizard so uh, in the description of this video you can see the other videos related to uh, this video so that you can get more understanding this is the last video before that we have five more videos uh, coming along a process by with creating intersections and editing them in horizontal vertical and corridor terms so that is about uh, creating intersection and editing intersections in intersection wizard in civil 3d